Now that we've placed the items in the model as per the pin ID, let's take a look to see what happens if we get something a little bit wrong. If we start to edit the piping and we move the valves onto the wrong line or have the wrong size, etc., we can have the model checked against the pin ID and make sure that everything's still okay when we're done editing the layout. So let's play a little bit. We're going to start by opening our pin ID drawing. And I'm going to just turn the grid off so that we can see and zoom in a little bit here. Now we're going to open our model 0804. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a quick validation just so that we can see that what we have here is exactly what we have here. So I'm just going to right click on our 804 model and I'm just going to say validate, which is right about two thirds of the way down on the right click menu. There's no validation errors detected. That means that what we have in our model corresponds perfectly with what we have in our PNID. So now I'm just going to close that down and let's just make a couple of changes here. I'm going to take one of the valves that we have and just by using the move part grip, I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it down onto this line. Now you'll notice what's happened. It did maintain the size. This was initially a four inch line and we've brought it down onto the six inch line and the, the program has automatically placed the reducers on here. So now let's take one of our check valves from this line and I'm going to move it over onto this line. If you do get a spec error, we can just say, okay, that's fine. We're going to close that down and we'll undo. And just for playing sake, let's bring it down here and you'll see it's fine. Now what we have does not correspond with the ID. Obviously our valves are on different lines. So let's run a validation one more time and see what happens. So I'm going to right click on our model and I'm going to validate. So you'll see here what we're doing is we're only validating what's in the model. So we're not getting anything that tells us there's anything wrong here. What we need to do is when we're working with PNID, we validate the PNID. When we're working on a 3D model, we can validate our model. What we want to do in this instance now is we want to check our validation for a PNID against our model. We're going to come into our settings and we're going to take a look at what we've got here. We've got our 3D model to PNID check. So let's just look at this one right here. And these are the things it's going to call out. If we have tagged items that are in a model but not in a PNID, these will flag. If we have items in a PNID not in a model, just read through. I don't need to go through and read all of these ones for you. You can go through and take a look and see what's there. That's what we want to do is we want to compare the PNID against the piping. So I'm going to go ahead and save. That's okay. So now I'm going to validate this as a project. I'm going to come up to our chapter eight. I'm going to right click and I am going to validate our project. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So if we're looking at our 804 model, this is the one that we're working in. If we look at our line item mismatch, so we moved two of those valves onto the wrong line. So it's, it knows that this valve HA108, it's on the wrong line. It's now mismatched. Our HA110 is now mismatched too. So this is a good way for us to know that we've created some errors, some problems with our model against our PNID. So it's typically not up to us as an individual to decide which is right. It should always go back to the process team. And if this configuration is correct, the PNID should be updated accordingly. And if the PNID is right, then you need to change your model accordingly. But what we want to show is that when we have these items mismatched, we can catch that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this valve and I'm going to move it back to where it came from. And I'm going to take this check valve and I'm going to move it back to where it came from. And I'm going to run a refresh. And when you run that again, now when we look at our 804 model components, you'll see that those line mismatch errors are gone. All it's reporting back is unconnected ports, which we're aware of. But the important thing to understand is that the mismatch error was there when we were on the wrong lines. When we put them back, that error is gone. So this is ultimately what we want to do is we want to get it so that our PNID and our 3D don't give any mismatched errors. So it's important to remember when you're designing, always consider the PNID is the master and whatever is in there should be considered correct. The link here is not bi-directional because we don't want to have the designer making changes in the model that are reflected back on the PNID. 
We don't know which of the two documents is correct, and we don't want to make any assumptions. The program simply states the discrepancy, and it's up to the process engineer and the designers to decide which is correct.